Okay, the first TRM we're going to install is the uh, polypropylene netting. This is, uh, there's no, it's not biodegradable. Okay, this is the P42 and it's got netting on the bottom side with UV inhibitors and netting on the top side with UV inhibitors. This polypropylene netting is designed to resist shear stress and it's also designed to be used with vegetation. So with this particular product, you'd put your seed down in contact with the soil, lay your uh, polypropylene netting down, your TRM down, and the uh, grasses and roots will grow up through the netting and the grasses and the biologic components along with this elements will help reinforce the channel. Truly a, a turf reinforcement mat. So for our first installation here we're going to use the polypropylene uh, netting. These TRM rolls come in a lot different widths. Uh, we have in this case an eight foot uh, wide roll and our channel is actually about 12 feet wide now we don't want to split the channel, we don't want to put two rolls down and have the split right in the middle. So the, the typical way to install is to put it uh, one roll down the center of the channel. We'll have one eight foot wide roll going down the center of the channel. And then we'll have to have two overlapping rolls coming down the sides of the bank. So we put our center roll down first and then our overlapping side rolls down on the side of that. Okay, the most important installation aspect of the TRMs is the anchor trench here. This is the most important. The water's coming down. We want to make sure the water doesn't get underneath the mat. The first thing we want to do is get this center roll kind of lined up right down the channel. Curtis, you want to give me a hand with this? And as we get it down on the slot, then we put our anchor pins down into it and we put these every six inches apart. Now we've got our, our uh, TRM anchored down in the trench very well. And then we fill the trench back in with this soil we've stockpiled over here. And we anchor that down firmly and get it nice and smooth. And we bring the blanket back, fold it back over the top of that. And then we can start rolling our blanket down. Now, as we roll this down the channel, Curtis, what's our most important thing? Uh, good soil contact. Intimate soil contact. So we want to make sure that we're not pulling it too tight and we make sure we have it draping kind of loosely over the soil. Any large clods or rocks or pieces of woody debris that are larger than like two and a half inches, you want to make sure you discard those and get rid of them. We don't want any tenting. So see how by uh, doing our double reverse in rolling this out, now we have the sides overlapping over the center. So the center, the water will be flowing down the center if water comes off of the side of the channel, it can't get under this one. Now your staples have to be in a pattern that are uh, three feet longitudinal down the channel and two feet apart horizontally. We also have to make sure that our overlaps are anchored every two feet. So if we start up here at the top, we will go two feet apart and have our staples every two feet. And then staggered in between the two foot staples, we'll come down three feet and put a staple in here. And then we will come over two feet and have another staple in here. And we'll come over and maybe go ahead and put, a put another staple in the center here. And then we have to make sure that every foot down our overlap, we also have staples. So this is the kind of staple pattern we're gonna follow. We can go ahead and get some people working in here mechanically stapling these in and we can, or manually, and we can also use the mechanical uh, rifle and see how well this goes. Now the, the, one of the most important things with uh, turf reinforcement mats is to make sure we have our, our intermittent check slot and those have to be about 25 feet apart. So we've got our, we're, there's two ways that we can do these. You can do a traditional sort of uh, uh, check slot, which is actually a trench cut in there six inches by six inches. Another way of doing it that ECTC allows is to use a row, two rows of staples to use your stapling check slot. In this particular situation, we're going to use the traditional method. So we want to make sure that our center roll is down on the top. And so actually we're going to put it in first. It's going to come back around, put our sides in, and as we flop it over, then our centerpiece will be on top. So the first thing we do is stick some staples down in the bottom of this trench. We put them about six inches on center, six inches apart. 
Go ahead, roll these down. The check slots are really important. Say some water now got underneath the turf reinforcement mat and it's running down underneath the mat and starting to pick up velocity and it's starting to erode the channel. When it hits this check slot, it has no, it can't continue on any further. It has to dam up and it has to come back up onto the surface. And that's what the check slots are for, to make sure that there's no erosion that's occurring under these blankets. If it does, erosion does begin to occur, the check slot will check that erosion, check the erosion. And we leave six inches in the bottom again. Restaple. Down in here. Yeah, I guess we should. That would be good to staple. Let's put a couple, one foot, staples one foot down. So we dug our check slot, brought our fab material down, laid it in the channel, flipped it back over, stapled it, flipped it back over, stapled it again. Now we're going to backfill the soil right up to here, and then we'll fold this over the top of the soil. Before we fold it over the top of the soil, though, what it, there's one other thing we have to do. What's that? Pack the soil. What else? Seed. Very good. All right, you guys are sharp. Yep. A little bit of seed. So let's make sure we get our uh, our loose spots out. Make sure you get an anchor and everywhere there's a little bit of a loose wobble. Look at here. This is going to go wob 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 wob